What's your top three in the room, bro? Talking to you. Top three what? Look, talk my girls. Rate them. What's your top three girls? I hate when he does that. Do, should, should we include the girl in the background? Hey, bro, it don't matter. They can't see her anyway. <laughs> talking about the girls here. <laughs> Kelly yeah. was, she, well, I mean. She, hey, your top three she's, not even, she's not even a top 100. Go ahead. Girls. Top three girls. In terms of looks. And give the order, bro. You reading it too. Top three looks. Bro, hurry up. You worse than the chicks. <laughs> okay, <Call> urgency. <laughs> One, two, and wait, wait, time out. Do it slow and say the name, bro. You pointing down. Gianna, now. I forgot your name. Grace. Grace. So Gianna, Grace, and then who else? They can't even. They said anybody, right? Bro, top three. Gianna, Grace, and Nicole. Oh. No, 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 nigga, on camera. On camera. I choose Denise because I think Denise is pretty too. Okay, so Gianna. Okay, and you Nicole. don't like short guys. You don't clearly don't like darker skinned girls. Sorry, pale one over there. You went that one, and she's just as pale as those two. Or right. more pale. Didn't want to pick us. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> we too old for him. Listen, Not this is for me. No, no, too old. We're not old for me. Age. Ladies, this is his preference. Oh, I don't care about his preference. I just she literally just heights him like, oh, I'm sorry, you're five eight, so. You, Friends only. And not even hygiene. Yeah, she hygiene. And not even. And not even care. Oh. But I'm making fun of you. Just mad. No, no, no. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I'm mad. You like that way, child? No, that's, not, that's why. No, I just thought it was funny. This is good. Keep this dialogue going. You can share your perspective. Those are the ones that you she literally know. said. She was like, "Yo, oh, you, you were like, so you're shorter than me, so just friends." Yeah. I'm like, are okay, you, I, cool. Like, <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. All I'm trying to say is that I just thought it was funny that you picked them two. You didn't think it was funny. And you didn't think it was really funny. And then said, "Can I include the one over there?" I think he really wants her because that was his that main was question. Just, Are you yeah. like blondes? It's you the want blondes. the girl off camera, bro? <laughs> right. It's the blondes. That, that, told me two that, the was, yeah. that was just really obvious. That's told me to, if you, told, if you okay, told me to choose top five. It's okay, you're white girls. That's really I am okay. attracted to white girls. It's really, it's really and, and I'm, I'm just, attracted to Hispanic I'm girls. Just pointing, I'm just pointing out the obvious. And I'm attracted to Asian girls. Asian girls are sexy as hell. Have you seen You ain't never have an Asian girl, bro. I know. They don't like black guys, dude. Yeah, they do. Not a lot of them. Chris Tucker Lady boys. from <laughs> what's the Not show? A lot of Rush Hour. Not a lot of them. Oh my gosh. All right, let's get to the next chat. Yo, holiday tone. I see what you're doing, bro. Yeah, yeah. You're funny, my <laughs> man's, my man's. We got uh, MP Shameless sends in twenty dollars. He says, "Cooley, your biceps have extreme potential. Work <laughs> uh, those out." Every day, if you can. He you said your biceps have extreme it. potential. I don't see it happening. He's talking my mind. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah where's the work? I've, I've been working, them, man. Where's the How creatine? Long? Not no creatine. I take zero supplements. Good. So I take no protein shakes. I take no creatine. I take nothing at all. We got Holiday Tone says in two dollars. He says even a unicorn's horn falls off when <laughs> with age. MS V card. Probably talking about Shelly. My man here supporting. He says, Cooley, your turn <laughs> with the girls in the room. Who would you recommend for ease to smash? <laughs> Marry and kill. I respect oh you. Good kick out. <laughs> Yo. Oh my I respect God. you too. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, cool to get him. Who's uh, not Mary? Hey, what, what was it? Mary so what? it's smash, marry, kill. Okay, who's All right. That? So I would say. If we're going to choose Mary, we're going to go with the youngest one. Let's go with the youngest one for Mary, just because she's the youngest one. Okay. You can get more out of her. <laughs> more babies. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, okay. To smash, let's go with uh, Gianna. Not surprised. <laughs> yeah, I know that you probably, that would be, you probably want that smash. Because since you chose that order. And then to kill... I would say <laughs> I would kill her. You know what? I would kill her. I would say, I would I would say kill you. her because she height shamed me. Tarrant. She height shamed me. I don't know if I caught it. Obviously, she you're really upset me. about your height. I'm not. <laughs> you are. Why are you, you projecting? I just projecting. Wanna, the beginning of the show, so I went on a whole spiel about how I love being my height. Okay. That why, why, I love being, and I said I love my height too. I said it plenty of times too. I didn't height shame you at all. Yeah, you did. You said. Because of my height, you did height shame. You did height shame. You did. No, I didn't. No, you did. You attacked me first. No, 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 no. I'm the victim. You said something before that. 
What did you I say? Know, oh, so what did I say? I'm trying to remember. You oh, said no. something before. You said something before that. So my, what I said was in response to what you said. Okay, now mm. you're making things up. I'm not making things up. Watch the watch the tape. Back. We, we, you said something, and then I. What did I say? I didn't say anything to you. All right, I let's bring it back, said, but guys. But it had something to do with friend zoning. It had gotcha. something to do with friend zoning, and I said, yeah, you're right. You're shorter than me, so we probably would be friends. Damn oh, no. yeah, that's it right there. Damn, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that's it. You but admitted it. Are, is that a, are you upset about it? No, why would I be upset about, about it? But no, he's not upset about it, but it seems like you're upset about him choosing white girls. No, I'm not upset about that at all. Oh, I just okay. think it's funny. But you don't why, think it's funny. Why, you don't why think it's is funny. it funny though? It's not. It's not why funny. Is it you don't funny? think it's funny. It's his preference. What's funny is only that he that he picked the one off screen. But we didn't say didn't that you not choosing a shorter guy is funny. Huh? We just let that go. Like when me not choosing a shorter guy. Yeah, like you said that. Oh, he's shorter anyway. Like he wouldn't qualify for you. Yes, so we didn't think that, that was funny. We thought that was like regular. He laughed. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't offended but, by but it. But not actually, like, he didn't even bring it up until you brought up him choosing the white girls. You see yes, how, he like... he did. He already did before. No, I did no, not. No, he only brung it up after you made fun of him about choosing the white girls. Yeah, but I don't understand. I don't even understand why there is a comparison. Well, it is a comparison because they're both preferences. Uh, so it seems like he shamed... I understand how they're both preferences. Let me finish real quick. It seems like he shamed for having his preferences. Okay. And his preferences is what... Well, let me finish. Okay. Let me finish. Shame. His preferences... He like white chicks, okay. right? Yeah. Your that's, preference that's is and you don't want short guys, right? Uh -huh. And he didn't shame you for your preferences, but you shamed him for his preferences. I don't think that's shaming. I think that's just pointing out a fact. Okay, and it is a fact that he liked them white chicks. Yes, it's a fact. <laughs> tried to shame him. I you said like, oh, well, why it. not us and the right. white girls? Like, exactly. what's that about? I was not. No, I didn't. Oh my god, you did. Yes, you it's did. okay, guys. You yes, guys you are just ganging up on the me. The judge no, said okay. it too. The judge said you in your feelings. You it's okay. Fine. I'm fine. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Let's move on. We got Mally G sends in two dollars. He says, "What the heck is Shelly on?" Is is she is she seems artistic, yeah man yeah she seems yeah man he, uh, you're right probably so something is not going right in that head. We got Car Bates sends in twenty five dollars, but this is from another country. Norwegian from Norwegian. Yeah. Norwegian. Okay, we got people supporting from Norwegian. He says, no, finally, Norway. 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 People supporting from Norway. Dang, that's what's up. We got, he says, finally, Rambo out of here. <laughs> Too masculine for us. They ain't called a Rambo. Yo, you funny, man. Keep supporting. We got Queen Lala in a building, a girl that's supporting. She She's says, see, women make excuses for other women. Call it what it is. Shelly off her rocker. That's a fact. We got Leroy Lede sends in $5. He says, light skin shorty who is on the end is mumbling and she is very prudish. Okay. Any response? I think he's probably talking to me. Yeah. yeah. I'm not prudish. All right. You can say whatever. Whatever. Think what you want about me. Wait. Saved yourself for this long. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think, you know, I would and, and it's say, not like I've been, I ha it's not like, you know, I'm disgusting. I would say this about, let's just grant it to you. Let's say that it's real, that you truly are a virgin, right? I would say that <laughs> sorry. for you sorry, being a virgin, I, like, I can prove it to you. I got you. Look, I'll say this because you said that it's respectable. I would say this for you being a virgin and having sexual temperance, that is very respectable. It is. I but the fact that you're 34 years old. And you're still a virgin and you're unmarried and you haven't found anyone to commit to you and someone that you want the committance from, from that isn't respectable because the reason why it's not respectable is because you only got what, what well, 80% of your eggs are already gone. So you say that you hold it on to your value. But your value, and you are holding on it from a sexual standpoint. Yes, you're a virgin. No one clap cheeks. That's good, right? I'm not trying to promote for you to be having your cheeks clapped. No, keep it unclapped. <laughs> 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 no applause, right? Keep it unclapped. But the not respectable part is that you should have found the man. And you believe in, you're Catholic, as you said. You know that you're put on this planet to procreate and to be by a man's side. You know that a woman's place is by a man's side. You know these things. Why are you pretending like 
I'm unmarried by choice. So you're saying that you're unmarried not by choice? Yeah. I would love more than anything to have already been married and have five kids. Got you. Well, that's the thing. So something must be missing. So I don't know. I don't think it's me. And and it kind of goes like this. Here's some game, right? Because I like to give ladies game when these conversations get a little bit touchy, touchy Philly, right? So you're picky. Granted, I know you're picky. Uh, Obviously, you don't want guys that's five eight. <laughs> you're talking about okay, size. That is a little bit. Like, it's an understatement. No, but right? I know that you're picky because you haven't had sex yet, which is good. That means that your morals is high. You have great qualities about your character. Kudos to you, right? And I have an aunt. She's gonna die a virgin. She's like sixty eight or something like that. That's gonna be you, right? Hopefully, you can find a man. So women, what they do is they advertise themselves to attract qualified mates to them right so the fact that you want a relationship and you want marriage with a man but you haven't found a man that you would want a relationship from means that you're not attracting the men that you truly want and desire make sense say that yeah yeah so i'm saying that you want to look at it from that standpoint because men pitch themselves for example, ease, let's say hypothetical, let's say if he's having a problem getting girls, well, I'm saying like, okay, you need to work on your approach since men are the ones that slide in DMs, men are the ones that normally approach women and walk up to them. Well, maybe you need to work on your confidence, get in the gym and accomplish some goals so you can become more confident and more competent and everything can just work better for you. Because since you have to approach girls, he needs to work on himself. We would all say that, right? If he couldn't attract girls. Yeah, sure. We got to say the same thing if the woman can't advertise herself in a way to attract the men that she wants. So that means that you got to work on self, right? So what would you suggest? One first suggestion, like what she does. She said that she's a bodybuilder. She's always in a gym. <laughs> sure, go ahead. I know what you're saying about yeah. the gym because, like, you know, men want a woman that will want to keep themselves clean keep themselves healthy you know uh -huh. want to work on themselves yeah oh, I just wanted to say so that. and this the, is what i'm saying part... let's just spoke, speak about men first right so men we are born without any sexual value we have zero sexual value when we're born just like she said she broke up with her guy because yeah he was maybe cute but he was inadequate he didn't have any motivation or ambition so he wasn't really making money he had none of that that manly you know oomph in him so she was like ah yeah i got rid of him he was 15 but they started when they were young so yeah. even at that super young age women still they look know, for certain right. things they know it's embedded in you it's in your nature <laughs> You want a man that's doing better than you, like the four things you said. <clears throat> Since a man is born without any sexual value, he has to go out there and create his sexual value. A woman born with her sexual value, it's up to her to preserve her sexual value. Now, you preserved your sexual value as far as not having sex. But as far as preserving your sexual value, as far as what men attracted to sexually, well, we're attracted to women that are fully in shape. We like the coat figure, small waist, wide hips, or if it ain't small waist, if it ain't wide hips, it's just like some type of curvature there, but it needs to be thin and healthy. That's what men are generally attracted to. Supermodels, thinner women get more options. You got to think about it. The thicker the woman is, she's getting less options. There, you, It's not completely just based on an initial attraction. Or the, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that because a lot of it is based on initial attraction because I can walk into a room and I can, or I can be on a date with somebody and if I not attract them when I first look at the way they walk or their hands or the way that they walk into a room, my opinion's probably not going to change. I got you. But I just, it's like, I get what you're saying to mm -hmm. a certain degree, but also you, you can't put all your eggs in that basket because that's not really... That's, That's not, the only basket you have. Look, it's not the only I, basket I, I have. I, it it's truly not. is. I I can I can confidently tell you. It's the only box. It's the only box that matters. That's the only basket, basket that matters to men. So men, we have a lot of boxes that we can elevate in because women are attracted to a multitude of things. You like him tall, strong, masculine, dominant, assertive. You like him good looking, <clears throat> smelling good. Dressed nice. Dressed nice, being able to convey himself and hold the conversation and make mm -hmm. you feel the vibes. So a man can, if he's not 
doesn't meet the height requirement, well, he can elevate by going to the gym, getting a better physical structure. He can elevate by talking to more girls and building up that confidence and learning ways to convey himself to a woman to make her feel all bubbly and giggly. So he can elevate on different levels. But that's because women are complex creatures. We can upgrade on many different things. But what are men attracted to? Looks. Only your looks. Only your looks. So that means that that's your only basket. That's the only elevation. You probably never heard the truth, but this podcast no fugazi, so we got to keep it real. So I'm telling you, please just take it. If you work on that, you will attract more mates. Now, it may not, of course, there's going to be more mates and it may be guys that you really don't want, but still it's going to be more. You'll have different guys to then choose from. And it may be the guy of your dreams. I just, I can't, I can't get on that train because you're trying well, to Well, if you don't want to get on that train, I'm not telling you anything. You're literally, yes, you, you are. look fine. You're 34 years old. You're light skinned. You got long hair. I'm sure guys are attracted to you physically, but I'm but telling you, you but that, that's the only thing you can elevate. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. That's okay. Do you want a hug? Take your time. It's fine. Free hugs. No, he's just, he's basically just telling me that. In a man's eyes, you're your value is tied to your beauty. I have no value because I'm not hers. I That's exactly what you're saying because you're trying to say that I can't attract the right man because I'm not small enough. No, he's saying what he's saying. Let, no. let, let me just tell you. Let me just tell you what I'm saying. Women don't normally walk up to men to oh, lots of men and approach them. You don't walk up to every guy you see that's attractive and approach them. And not only that, you would respect it more if a man would approach you. So men approach and women advertise themselves. Since you're not attracting certain guys that meet your qualifications, that you would want to even have them get down on one knee to marry you, that means that you need to change something about yourself. That's what I'm saying. Right. So, so the one thing that I need to change, you're saying, is just to lose weight. I'm saying the one thing you need to change is to lose weight and to get in a gym, and you will become more attractive to more men. Why it's do I it's need based to be? off of beauty. But that's never been an yeah, issue. Yeah, but for me. big is still beautiful. But it, I've what never I'm telling you, it is. I don't want a man who's only going to judge me based on my size. That's the, we don't want a man. Look, we don't want a woman that's only gonna base us off our height. I'm six yeah. foot four. He's five eight. But you but said that he's I disqualified because he's five but eight. I didn't judge his character. But you judge his height, and he doesn't qualify for you. The same way he doesn't qualify for you, <laughs> with your figure, a lot of guys you won't qualify for. And that's what you have to realize. Me as a person, I'm not gonna qualify for a lot of guys because that's life. You as can, a can person, you're great. You're, you if, don't even let's know just me. say you're yeah, a birth. Can no, let's just you. Me can I, can I, I call your names? And real quick, you as a person, you have, let's just say you're a virgin. Let's say I believe it. You have sexual I temperance. A, why would I lie you about have, that? That means that you have all these characteristic traits in you that is very good. You're a person of high moral character. That's beautiful. What's on the inside is beautiful. But remember, you advertise yourself in men approach. So you want to display. A beautiful outside just how beautiful you are on the inside i'm not saying that you're not beautiful i'm just saying that you can elevate yourself more he is saying be what you want to attract exactly not saying we're old Tess. this is just a fact almost 40 and i have never been married but you know what are you gonna do so like for me one of the, my the things in being hispanic and my grandma mommy getting on me is why are you not married men don't want to commit and they want girlfriend benefits without the commitment at the end of the day I that's what it is. that's exactly what it I is i played house for 10 years no, but no no like, but what he's saying is and this Remember is like, and this is something that i also understand if i want to attract a man with money and all of that stuff then i have to present myself as I'm almost 40, I can't compete with an 18 year old. She could be my daughter. My daughter's 19. I can't compete with that. I cannot bear children. I can't have children. Men my age, they're going to look at that. You got to be like, listen, little homie, but I you know get a what? guac guac 3000. You know what I'm saying? I take care of, I don't work out, but you know what? I should work out. Why? Because I'm at that premenopausal stage in my life where I can gain weight. So taking care of myself physically will not only help me physically, emotionally, and mentally, mm -hmm. right? 100%. So it's not yes. putting you down. It's 
I'm but uplifting I you. Know. I am. This is not uplifting hey, at all. I, I gotta be honest. The truth is uplifting. You did it, but you, you did know it. it wrong. That's not the truth. Because as women, they're emotional. Okay. Men are logical. Oh, it's how he said it. It's so, delivery, right? Yes, but me, no, it's a lot of it delivery. is how you said it. Sure. Is okay. it delivery? But it's yeah. not a, that. You know, women obviously are emotional, and men pretend not to be. But, but we're correct. emotional. That's so what she said. You pretend. We're just less neurotic, meaning that we feel less negative emotions than women. I know you just pretend not to. She got it. Okay. Well, one, when it comes to, you know, how things are said and what is said, you're a woman of faith. Obviously, you're a virgin. You're a 34 virgin. When Jesus, you believe in Jesus. When Jesus was here, when Jesus came to earth and he was speaking to people and delivering people from evil and saving people and doing all of these miracles, did he curve the way he said something? No, 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 let me finish. Let me finish. Jesus spoke the truth. And sometimes the truth, people can't handle the truth. Sometimes the truth hurts. So I'm just speaking the truth to you. It doesn't matter if I coddle, if I try to coddle it, no it maybe won't, it, it won't make a change. No one said coddle, but there's things, prudence. You could say prudence, right? And maybe you feel that I'm coming at you a certain way because you know that it's truthful. It, but that doesn't, that doesn't. No, it has to be true if you got emotional from it. I'm upset because you know it's the truth. Maybe it's is it an insecurity? Why. Could it be an insecurity that you have suppressed? Because a lot of times, women we suppress things, right? Especially at our age, because people do look at us. Well, they're single, they're not married, and I admire your discipline. And I got. Can I just say something really quick? Just sure. to be an encouragement, I had a client. She is Egyptian. 34 year old virgin she's muslim and i was doing her brazilian waxing before she was like denise i'm so nervous and she lost her virginity her wedding night she got married january and her husband bought her a house and the furniture and at 34 years old she waited for the right man don't wait for the right man be the right woman so that you can attract the right man for exactly you. Mm -hmm. that's what it is that's, that's what we were so saying there's hope for yeah. you i know i'm not perfect and yes, I can get better in certain areas. Percentage of the time, uh -huh. not the problem. I think and that is the problem. To do with, it has to do with my situation. A lot of men just they don't want to wait. Let me ask you a question. Is that, is that like, and that's why I'm, that's why I took such offense into what you, what you said because it's not it's it's sure I can get better, but they don't want to wait. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. So you said that you're taking offense to what I'm saying. Uh huh. Okay. What I'm saying, how can you take offense to someone that is telling you that you can elevate in certain areas? Because you could have said that. I literally said that. I said there's many different like, men. Wait, and I broke wait. it down. I said men has to elevate. He's 5'8". So that means that he's got muscles. He had to get in the gym. Or he would have been a skinny 5'8 dude. And I was he wouldn't get no cheeks. But that no was, cheeks. But no, listen, that's what I'm saying. That was already 10 minutes of I had to talk about men first. Before I even spoke about women, because I spoke about women in general, then I spoke about you specifically. But when I spoke about men, so you can understand that we all have to elevate, right? But it just so happens to be that men were simple creatures. We fall in love with our eyes, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Women fall in love with their ears. A man can display other characters. He could elevate in other areas just because you're complex creatures you like so many different things in guys but we only like really one thing in a woman that's when it comes looks. to attraction that's looks so i'm saying that i'm looking at you and i'm saying you know what you could hit the gym can i say something that's a positive thing but now let's reverse it let me get your answer real quick if a man was at home in his mom's basement 34 years old he had no job and he was eating cereal all day mm -hmm. and playing cereal? video games fruity pebbles of course <laughs> and sometimes fruit loops so he ate cereal no motivation but he said i want a bad chick i deserve a bad chick what would you say to that man that's in his mom's basement 34 years old with no job playing video games and eating cereal no car what no you license say, would you say that that man has to self-improve in a lot of areas yeah got it now look at you 34 year old virgin never been married never never met a man that you even wanted to marry that's not true but you met the man that you wanted to marry but he didn't get on one knee so that means that you couldn't lock the man down even when you met him so that means that well we I look at that it has anything to do with me listen we look at it women grant sex 
men grant relationships. If the man didn't grant you the relationship from the only man that you wanted, well, that means that you need to improve on something. <coughs> You're but running from the accountability. No, I'm not. I'm not running from the accountability. Okay. Well, I'm I just wanted that, to I'm say... Try, I'm trying to say that every situation is not the same. Just like you would see that 34-year-old man that's a virgin living in his mom's basement but claiming but he wants a bad chick... Month. Well, that's the area he's, that he's, men are attracted he's, he's to. Men don't basement. care about a, men don't care about women's money. Men don't care about women's competence. We don't care about women's height. We don't care about all the things that you care about in a man. Attraction isn't symmetrical; it's asymmetrical. So you became the man that you want. You got a d good job. You're doing things and all these type of things. Tall. But you became the man that you want. So all these other guys that you're meeting, they don't qualify for you. But the only guy that did meet your standards, guess what? You didn't qualify for him. So we're just saying that you can elevate on the beauty aspect because we're simple. We want cheeks. We want the waist to be blickety blow. That's just what we want. <laughs> you got to understand, I'm a black man, so I get judged every day. Because I'm black with tattoos, they think I'm dumb. I have girls say, oh, you're cute for a black guy. Oh, you're short. I'm confident in myself. And, I, and what I do understand is everybody has a type, and I know that I'm not everybody's type, and I'm okay with that because yeah. I've met so many women that I'm, everything they want you know what i'm saying and i'm pretty sure there's guys that will accept you just the way you are but most guys like women fit you know what i'm saying in shape i can't point out a body part but I'm I, I know a lot of guys that would not look at you you light skin with the long hair if you had the body you'll be fine let's just be honest yeah, no i don't really know <clears throat> how old you guys are but if you 35, guys 35 34 Okay. I'm 34. So if you guys met someone, doesn't they don't have to be like in like the same age as you or anything yeah. like that. But if you guys met a woman and she was deciding to make the same commitment that this beautiful woman right here has been choosing to make to stay a virgin and you know really find the right man, would like would you guys try to pursue and talk to somebody who is willing to wait that long? Oh, or would like you? Her? Yeah, like. Like how Wait, do you guys think about? Years? Well, well, let's say let's say you met her, you know, when she not was thirty four years ago. Let's say you met her when you guys were twenty, twenty five. Would you guys even consider oh, giving her a chance? Yeah, like you would we get wait? with a chick that was waiting for marriage? Yes. I would say if that girl is a virgin, that's a great thing. But is well, it something that you guys aren't willing to really wait for because you're so addicted to? You would wait for a chick if she was a virgin yeah, if and it, she was bad, your type? If I met a chick that was a virgin, my type, and she mm -hmm. said that after we got married, and, and especially if she likes me and she doesn't shame me, mm -hmm. <laughs> I would marry her. To be honest with you, yeah. I would like to get married, but I'm Most scared to get married because a lot of marriages end, and it's usually it's the women that are divorcing men. So I'm actually scared to get married, but I would love to get married and live happily ever after. To answer your question, yes. And I generally, girl, I would say most men will because men, we seek out purity. So like, Think about what marriage is, why the woman walks down the aisle with a white dress, because that represents virginity, Care. purity, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So if a man is going to be marrying a woman, and, and you got to think about it from like hundreds of years ago, the family or the father gave his daughter to another family son that was, re they respected that family mm -hmm. and that man had a good future for him and he could pro provide a good future for his daughter. So it's like, oh, I have a virgin for you. And... Your son can have this virgin. Now let's trade and make deals. That's kind of how they did things because virginity in a woman is very valuable. So it's good that she held on. But like I said, it's respectable. But for 34 years, it isn't respectable because you're doing something wrong. You can't attract the man and retain the man that you want. So obviously you're lacking in certain traits and which is OK. You know what I'm saying? That's totally fine. She should click the link in my bio. I do coaching. I help her out. She'd be good. But anyways, any other questions on this topic for you? <laughs> I know you wanted to say a few things. It's interesting. I feel like everyone has an interesting perspective. And I feel like I understand where she's coming from. Like, it's a sensitive topic. Like, before I even got into bodybuilding... I was heavier before I got into the gym, but if I didn't take that moment to self-reflect and realize that I needed to work on myself and feel better about myself, I was never going to attract good, positive vibes in my life. Yeah. But like, you just, whatever you're- You attract the bottom feeders. It, Exactly. Like, you attract the dude and, and, that and, can't and, go and, any and girls. And Taryn's great, you know, and she's over here saying that she wants, you know, someone who's tall, handsome, wealthy- and everything. But then what does that mean get in return? No, but I definitely understand, like, when I was heavier and not really working on myself at 
a point in my life. Yeah. It's not like I was getting all this attention, obviously. Now that I work on myself, you see the I'm attention. In a, and the I quality said, of guys are better. Yeah, that's correct. Exactly. It just, it's a thing. And also with me, like working on myself, actively working on like being the healthiest version of myself. You feel better. I feel better. Yeah. I look better. And I'm obviously at attracting better. better. It's just, yeah. it's all on what you're putting out is what you attract. Brie, you was going to say something, right? Well, I was just going to say I yeah. relate to you because, you know, I said I used to be bigger. Mm -hmm. Now that I've lost weight and I've focused on my body and I eat better, you know, people really do come around. It, yeah. it actually made me really sad because I was like, wow. Yeah. But I also did attract different people when I was bigger yeah. as well. See? I feel like a lot of the people that I attracted when I was bigger were genuinely there for my personality. Mm -hmm. 100% mm -hmm. accepted I got a question because and loved so me. Real quick before you get to that. Just pay attention to what just transpired. It's funny because before the podcast started, you was here the last time someone cried. Yeah. And you said that, I hope no one cries this time. And then you even said that, I don't think anyone is going to cry. I said, nah, probably will. Who knows when a conversation gets going. And it's funny how these two young ladies, you're 19, how old are you? 23. 23. You were, you lost 30 pounds. 50. 50 pounds. I used to be 186. I'm now that's, less than 140. That's, that's amazing. amazing. Mm -hmm. Right. And you like said two, that you were on a journey as well. Yeah. And both of you ladies are in shape because you, you went from somewhere and then you lost weight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you confirmed that one, most, most importantly, I felt better about myself. Right. Well, secondly is I feel health. And then the third thing is I was able to attract more quality men. And that's exactly what I told her, but she couldn't understand that. And you two are prime examples of it. Like you literally switched some things up in your life started working now and things went better for you yeah so. at the end of the day you can't you can't sit back and think that you're a 10 because <laughs> always oh, there's room for improvement there's, exactly there's always room for improvement and she thought i was coming at her i was speaking and it's the thing right like when it comes to this i was speaking to the queen in her like all human beings we got the fool in us Mm -hmm. or the king or the queen in us like the man he has a fool in him but he also has a king in him and that woman should always speak to the king in him a woman has a fool in her but she also has a queen in her me speaking to the fool in her would have been you just as good as you are those guys are the problem but i spoke to the queen in her and i said listen you could do much better than where you are at now you can rise up to another level and that's one of the things is increasing your beauty by going to the gym and losing some weight. So I'm speaking to the queen in her because I want her to be better. But the thing is, in this world, it's socially unacceptable for men to speak to the queen in a woman. If we speak in a truth to a woman, it's looked at, oh, you're being negative. You're shaming me. It's okay. And a bunch of other things, right? So it's crazy how she was speaking <laughs> down on him, right? And we ain't say nothing about it. We kind of let nothing. that go until nothing. she got mad and was like, oh, okay. Oh, you only choosing the white girls? And then we like, wait, wait. You disqualify him because he's 5'8". What's going on with you, mama? So I don't even yeah. think she's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> she's just older. But yeah, anyway, but it's just she's funny. because the same age as you guys. Yeah, yeah but men but is different. Women, yeah, we like what did I say earlier? We cannot compete with young girls. Young girls, yeah, you that's, can't compete. That's a fact. Oh, yeah. you mean older women? We like, because older women. It's yeah. just different And also, dynamic. like, as a man, you're looking at us like, oh, well, we can Bear men. children, the For, youth. Yeah, like, and multiple children. I don't have kids. Exactly. Yeah, but you're only in your 30s. That's still... I'm almost 40. Yeah, but... I'm 38. Oh, I'm as, yeah. And as a guy, if you want to, you know... Oh. And I can't yeah. have bring children. on like you, the line. You, and you, like there's a yeah, time limit. You, like, you're my daughter's age. Men don't look at us like that. Like you gotta understand, guys. Like I don't have kids, and I want kids. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm not choosing Denise, right? You I'm not choosing Denise as the uh, as one of the prettiest. But I, the reason why I wouldn't choose her because of her age, not because I think she's unattractive. No, yeah. what's you like, know what I mean? Because I would like to have a kid one day, and I I wouldn't date you be just only for the simple fact exactly. that exactly. You know what I mean? But like if I didn't want kids. I'll be in your DM, hey, girl. Denise, he yeah. said, hey, Denise, yeah. look, he said, you recreational use only. Don't try to, don't clap for him. <laughs> but like, but, but it's the truth. Right, right. It's so, the fact. Uh, and, you know what I mean? Look, but, um, but also, like, notice how women can criticize men all day. We take it, and it's okay. But as soon as we give that right back, it's, 
Because men it's are logical problem. and women are emotional. emotional. That's it's just the fact of life, and that's just what it is. And that's know? the thing. She wanted me to coddle what I was saying. I'm like, why would I? I I'm going to speak to the queen and you want me to speak to, to the fool in you and just I understood what say whatever. It's yeah. like, come but on. But I'm a logical, I'm more 